Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on reservoir simulation using T-Navigator software. It's a very important, interesting, useful software for reservoir simulation. And we are still in the series of drilling a new well. Previously, we have discussed about adding a new producer, a vertical producer, and then injector, vertical injector, relatively close to the producer and it increased the average reservoir pressure as well as the water cut. And then we also add one more new injector even closer to the producer in such a way that the water cut at the producer is too high that the well should be shut in. And we impose the rule that if the water cut is greater than 40%, then the well will be shut in. And that's, that's what happens because we have a very close injector. Okay, and then in this, in this case, we will discuss about making or drilling a new horizontal well. It's, it's a production well, horizontal production well. Okay, basically we have two methods to set up horizontal well. The first one is by clicking box. I mean, clicking blocks with connections. And the second one is by clicking well trajectory and then perforate via MD or TVD, measure depth or true vertical depth. Okay, and hopefully we can discuss two methods. In this video, I will only concentrate on the first method, which is by clicking blocks with connection. Okay, so this is our, we are currently looking at the mobile oil in place, two dimensional map. And by the way, this is the compass, always targeting the north direction, northern direction. I will flip vertically, so it's like that. So actually there, we are pointing to the north direction this arrow. And again, this is our well. I will first show all wells. So we have this injector and then that injector. I want to add new horizontal well here. Okay, because you see this area has high mobile oil in place. Okay. And First, we go to three-dimensional map. Let's position the map. Okay, it's like this. So, yeah. So, I will drill my well here in this section. Yeah, I will create cross-section. Let's be careful here. Sometimes, using 3D map, moving around the 3D map is not very easy. Okay, I will add cross section here, create a cross section, click this feature, and the name of our cross section is cross section one. We have several methods to create cross section. I prefer using this one, point selection. So I just need to add two points, like this one, first point, and then the second point there, All right? So let's move the model around. You see, this is the plane that we will cut and we will make our cross-section based on this plane, you see? You can move the points by clicking left clicking this one so you can make and you can change your cross section you can also hold left key the yellow ball and then you can move around like this okay i will set my cross section here and then let's just close so the cross section has been created we go back to the 2d map and here in this section, let's find cross-section. 
okay we will access our cross section cross section one and then i will press left and right key at the same time so this is our cross section 